in this video i want to explain how to include uh, the mathematical equations in google forms for that you need an extension called equatio you can get it from the pro maps this web store go to web store and type equatio e q u a t i o equatio press enter so this is what extension we are looking for so uh, as i already installed this so it is here showing added okay generally you will be getting option like add to chrome if you are not installed this equatio you will be having the option add to chrome so when you click that add to chrome so then it will be added to this uh, chrome uh, so the browser and it will be reflected at top right side so this is the icon of equatio after doing this you open your google form where you want to insert this mathematical equations so uh, you can see here after installing this uh, equatio each uh, question and option is having this uh, uh, insert math editor so now this is the question actually we want to write in google question uh, here we are having a division so that means it is a fraction in that so generally uh, we will be using normal text editor so from uh, if we are using normal text editor it will not look like a, a perfect uh, equation let us see see so this one 2a plus b by a plus 4b okay so this is the view of a normal text editor uh, and if you if you want to use some logarithmic equations then you must require some super subscript and superscript when you are using some algebraic equations second order third order so in that scenario the normal uh, text editor is not sufficient generally we will be using the shortcuts i mean we will be using whatever the keys available in keyboard to represent the mathematical equations but those uh, are not good or those equations are not uh, uh, easily understand by the uh, students so for this purpose we have this solution of insert map from equation so to insert this equation simply click on this icon insert map then you will be getting a tab here so in this you will be having uh, various uh, options to enter your math equation one is normal math equation editor and if you know latex so uh, then you can use this latex editor and one more this handwriting recognition here you can write your equation uh, here and that will be reflected here see let us see to a sorry to a plus b parenthesis open close divided by parenthesis open a plus B. So this way also you can uh, insert your uh, uh, equation, mathematical equation. But here the problem is uh, as we don't have touch screen and stylus, so this process is not uh, that much easy because writing with mouse it, you know, it will take much time. Okay, but if you are having touch screen with stylus, then this is the good option. Directly you can write the equation on the screen whatever you want simply that will be uh, edited to normal uh, text okay so after writing this simply you have to click insert map okay then that image will be inserted as a question okay so i am i don't want to insert map now itself because i want to use actual equation uh, editor equation editor 
So as we have already done this part, so it is reflecting directly. Or else you can remove this. So here we have to start typing the question. So the question is if so parameter is open. So I am using uh, keyboard keys only as of now. Two A plus P. Parameter is close. Sorry. Uh, now you can use divide. When you click divide symbol in math uh, in keyboard, automatically it will be reflected in mathematical equation form. The slash, whatever the slash you are looking here, uh, you are seeing here, the same slash in keyboard I am entering, but it is reflecting as a mathematical equation. So now parameter is open a plus o b. Parameter is close. Okay, equal to three. your question simply click insert map so now this equation will be inserted in the question as an image so this is your question so let us see the preview which question is looking good see this is what we written in normal text editor as it is in google form and this is by using this equation so you can clearly observe the second way is very good. Okay. So not only these normal fractional equations, you can write down the let us see. Let us say log base. I want to write to enter base. I mean subscript. There is no shortcut shortcut key in the keyboard. But that kind of uh, keys, that kind of text editor. Mathematical equation edition editor. You have to write what you want. Let us say now I want to enter base. So write down base and click enter. Now you are uh, ready to enter the base. So base two. So just click uh, side arrow. Then you will be shifting to next character. So this is let us say ten equal to question mark. Or else, if I want to enter e to the power of x, so start with e. So in order to use power, we have a shortcut key in uh, what is that? Uh, our keyboard. What is that shortcut key? Normal. Just wait. Normal key we have. What? What is that key? E power x. You will be using this shortcut. So the same, the same shortcut key I am using here. In fact, I am entering the shortcut key. But this math editor is considering it as a, uh, a power. So see, automatically it is changed into power. Again, I, I am again I am using the um, cap symbol. Then it is automatically shifted to power. Then X. Again, you click side arrow keyboard x so likewise whatever you want to enter if subscript superscript power or base whatever it is in mathematical equation you will be having all uh, terminology so that terminology you have to enter here so that it will be reflected in that proper uh, equation manner so let us say instead of using this divider I can use a fraction. So, what is this uh, 2a plus b by a plus 4b? That is a fraction. So, for that, you need to write fraction. When you write fraction, that means you are going to write a fraction equation. Press enter. So, automatically it is giving a fraction. So, now you can write whatever you want a plus b by some c plus d or something. Okay, like this. Okay. So, likewise, you can enter any. Uh, mathematical equations okay. and one more feature is there that is 
uh, screenshot edit uh, screenshot reader so that means you have to use the screenshot uh, uh, editor option and you need to take screenshot of the equation with uh, what you want to enter let us consider that on the uh, some example is right on the map on the maps equations let's consider one equation images for our example and considering let us consider this equation okay so now i need to take a screenshot of this for that uh, you use this icon okay then you will be getting this editor option here you have a screenshot reader click on screenshot reader take this screenshot of the equation so wait for a while so it will be converting the screenshot into actual equation text form equation so now you can see okay so now we go to and it is reading out the expression so it is reading the uh, whatever the equation is captured it is reading the equation so now you go to this three dots more option use copy latex and come back to your piece so let us already we used one so let us use one more one more add question so for this let us use latex because we copied with the latex so now use paste so here you can see the equation what you copied okay so now simply insert map so again it will be converted to image and it will be inserted in question sorry it is again uh, Selected in the question one only because I I didn't choose anything to on question two. Okay, so this is the way to use this uh, equation.